Hey guys and welcome back. Um, I just had a fail thing with my YouTube. Um, I'm recording this with a webcam and it's uploading directly. So this isn't going to be the best video. This is my first one and until I can get some suggestions or save enough money to actually get a camera to actually record my videos or something, I'll probably just be recording from webcam. And actually I set up with the Stealth Rock U-Turn um, strategy and... I guess uh, that was alright. Stealth Rock really helped me win I get this battle, I guess. Well, actually, I don't know. But, um, he's gonna start st stockpiling three times. Because you can't use it more than that. And if you do, it'll just fail. And he doesn't have Swallow or Spit Up. He just has Slack Off and, um, I don't know. But So I set up with Leech Seed. He uses Toxic and I do as well. But his Toxic doesn't affect me and um mine affects him so he's basically just gonna try to stall here which is pointless because there's really no point um there's actually really no point in this battle but um anyways i'm gonna set up with the uh, leech seed curse and leftovers and toxic setup so i'll be okay and once I get, I think I get about three or four, I test a, um, I test a gyro ball, and it doesn't do that much, and with him using slacking off, slack off, I'm just, I think I wait a little bit until he, um, until my, the toxic gets a little more dangerous, so. Can't move. So, um, stop. So, anyways, yeah, as you can see, he starts slacking off, and doing all that stuff so anyways I'm trying to make it even there that might be better there we go so now there's a little light that is the oh that's the blue light thing on the camera all right there. all right well um anyways he keeps using slack off and I keep getting loose seed so he's really not doing anything, I mean, but stalling. So, eventually, I get enough um, curses in, and uh, I'll eventually use a gyro ball, and then Toxic and Leech Seed will kick in, and... Actually, no, this is like, this actually took a long time of the um, battle. So, there we go. So, um... Sorry, I'm distracted by my cat. He's trying to bite my cords. No! Stop! I'm gonna get out of my room. So, Cairo Ball actually doesn't do a lot like I thought it would do. And, um, so. He uses Earthquake, and it doesn't really do anything. I use Cairo Ball again, and he dies. So his hippodon is down. That was his defense. That's that was his defensive wall, and he's done. He sends out a Darmanitan, a Darmanitan, and he said that he had 400 attack on him, even with the EVs and IVs he has. And Flare Bit Blitz being 4 120 double super effective and a fire gem, it definitely killed me. I thought that um my guy would have been stronger, but I did forget that it was double super effective. And it was probably a total of 150 damage times four. So I was I, I realized that it wouldn't have worked. But he does get hit with the iron barbs, this um the recoil, um and the sandstorm. So then I send out my Vaporeon, and then he goes out into his Lapras, and this is a Lapras with thunder. So um I don't know. I think I get lucky with his Lapras. Um I I try to uh. Or I used Ice Beam because I thought he was going to switch in, like, switch out. I knew he was going to switch out his Darmanitan, and I thought he was going to switch out to someone else, like, um, his uh, Dragon Pokemon because he does have a Haxorus because I played him one time before this, and, um, because it was both of our first Wi Fi battles. So, anyways, um, there's Sandstorm and, um, it's Lapras. So I do get kind of lucky at the end, but so I set up two Acid Armors. And he, he's going to use Thunder, and he's going to paralyze me on the first Thunder. It's not going to do that much damage, because I EV train my, uh, well, no, I EV train my Vaporeon in HP and defense. So he's kind of a defensive and special wall. 
kind of because he's got already a lot of special defense but I already changed my team since this video and I'll probably be using the I, I actually uh, still have this team but I added a balloon to it and it's actually a really good balloon toxic and poison heal basically that's a good strategy because um, you can't really get hurt by poison and you already have poison on you and um, so you can't really I guess you can't really get any status conditions besides poison and it heals you so that's good plus it'll, it's a spore drain punch lead seed and it's EV trained in um, defensive so he is kind of a defensive wall and he's an he's an annoyer Pokemon so if you put him to sleep it's essentially 100% accurate um, set up a leech seed and then um, substitute a couple times put him to sleep and it's um, I think it's actually a really good strategy so he does get lucky and kill me and I thought his Lapras was gonna die for sa from stands from the sandstorm. Oh, it does. So I do get lucky, or I I did get lucky there, and his Lapras died from the sandstorm. So I sent out my uh, Azelf, which is my lead Pokemon. He sends out his Axorus, and I forget if I stay or not. I think I do stay. Do I explode? Oh no, I get a paralyze on him. I think that was the smartest thing for me to do. He uses Dragon Claw, and I think I'm... I, yeah, I do hang on, actually. I had a feeling I was going to hang on. See, 8 HP there, and then the Sandstorm killed me. So, I mean, I guess I was unlucky. I was going to um, explode on him, because I have Explosion on him. Take down about half his health, and then I send out my uh, Flygon, so... And then he's paralyzed, which is good. I use Dragon Tail. Dragon Tail always goes last, and... He actually almost died, and then, oh, hold on. let me shut the door, because, um, my dogs are going to bark because my mom's home. Oh, gosh, this is going to be annoying. Um, so, he starts, ro I start rock sliding him to get the flinches, and, um, so he keeps, I get two flinches on him, and then he's going to finally be able to move. He uses X scissor, and his bug gem will strengthen the power. And actually, he's kind of, he's not going to do, yeah, he didn't kill me, so, he actually used Aerial Ace, because I tried to use Dragon Tail, I think, but Dragon Tail always goes last, so then I send out my Volcarona, and I'm pretty sure he switches on this, on this move, so, I, that's why I use Bug Bugs, Bug Buzz, but I got lucky and got a crit, so, he didn't switch, but I do take down his Caesar. And then he doesn't have a water Pokemon to take me out, but he does have the Armanitan. And since my defense isn't that well, uh, oh, it doesn't matter. I thought that he killed me, but the stones dug into him and didn't really call for much because my guy is really fast. And he's actually shiny. My friend traded him to me, so I guess I was really lucky. I think he, he, um, I don't know how he got it. I think, I don't know. I'm trying to think. I don't know, but I traded my um, I traded my shiny uh, Dragonite from my uh, Platinum game. But so I use Flamethrower, and his his special attack is 425. Uh, he's IV 28, and or he's IV'd a lot in special attack, and he's EV chain special attack. Plus, he's really good. So. That was the battle I won. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Definitely um, s uh, send me a message about my first Wi-Fi battle if I did good or not. Um, and thanks. So later.